Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. We now go to one of my favorite prophets, of course. <laughs> I guess he's one of everyone's favorite. They call him the eagle-eyed prophet, as my dad has taught me. Isaiah, chapter 17, verse 1. And the word of the Lord is as follows. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. The cities of Aroer are forsaken. They shall be for flocks, which shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria. They shall be as, as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. That was Isaiah 17, verses 1 through 4. The burden of Damascus, it has begun. Two huge explosions went off sometime today. Or well, it was last night here, it was today there. No man knows today. See, it was already today over there. It wasn't today yet. It was nighttime here. It was yesterday here, but it was already today over there. See, time zones. I talked about that in the last video and in other videos. But it has begun. The news reporter on this radio station I listen to, I love my classical music. I, they were just playing Mozart. and Oh, God, this is some sort of Tarantella, which is like Italian music. So this is not Mozart. But anyway, I like to listen to my classical music. And um, it's soothing. And it um, reminds me of my days when I was a dancer and um in any case she the news they do deal with the news a little and um she spoke on the two explosions that went on in Damascus today and said that it looks like a wasteland looks like a wasteland she said so Isaiah 17 is is unfolding as I speak it's unfolding. Um, when it's all over, there will be no Damascus. There will be no government there. From what I read in the scripture, it says the kingdom shall be taken away. So I'm I, okay. So I, to me, that means there's going to be no government at all, or at least the, the government that is now seated will be removed and replaced. And it says Israel shall wax lean. So there's going to be some issues going on in Israel, um, in Israel as a, as in regards or in court correlation with this. Israel is going to suffer a little bit, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, oh, I know this Tarantella. Yes, this is from the actual ballet Tarantella. There's a pas de dub, which means dance for two, called Tarantella. I'm thinking of Alessandra Ancinelli, trained at School of American Ballet, was in New York City Ballet, then at the Royal Ballet. Yes, Tarantella. Anyway, so Damascus is going to be taken away from being a city. It has begun. Get Jesus in your heart. Accept the fact that he's the only way. He is God. He died on the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day with all power in his hands. He was the only one able to do it because he was God and he was perfect. He lived a perfect life and was born of a virgin and came in the flesh. Born of a virgin, came in the flesh, lived a life free of all sin and evil. Died for you and me. That's love. Didn't stop there. He was buried three days, three nights in the belly of the earth. Rose on the third day. Ascended to the Father. He has all power in his hands and he's coming soon. And the news of this these explosions today in Damascus is further proof of the fact that the Word of God is true. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. He is the truth, the only truth, and the whole truth. He is the way. He is the life. You're not going to heaven if you're not a true follower of Christ Jesus. None of us can judge. Only God knows who those of us are, are true followers of His. God bless you. I love you, but God loved you best.